Hello everyone, this is CypherDike, and today we are back in Scrap Mechanics. I am here with AC Gamer. Hey guys, and welcome back to another episode. And today we are making a crazy machine with AC. He's um, he's going big, guys. He's going big. <laughs> <laughs> what? Well you were showing me your design over here, which I think is very, very cool. Right now I'm in Cypher Dex game, which is why I get a little bit of choppiness because as a multiplayer, uh, you're going to get that on your side. But uh, it's really, really cool. You created a motorcycle. Yeah, it um, it's very um, technical. Um, it's very hard to drive. Uh, it's definitely not a beginner's vehicle, but um, you press 1 to go left and 2 to go right. And um, if you want to, you can do flips. <laughs> <laughs> i've tried driving this thing and he is right it is very very difficult to drive sometimes but it's doable like once you get used to the controls it's very oh, yeah. very easy to uh to move around and i won't say very easy but it's it's definitely doable and i do like how you can raise and lower the wheels you even have your own little uh you know bars that come down to kind of hold it in place on both sides so you know he's thought this thing out it's actually really nice design I, you know, want to do that, and we kind of want to show, like, how to build that on camera as well, but I figured if we're going to do it, uh, we might as well go, like, monster truck-wise and just go <laughs> bigger, you know, than uh, than we had before, so that's why I'm using the red pipes to uh, to create this new one. Yeah, it's going to be amazing. I am ready for it. I definitely want to see what it's going to look like. Um, oh. The one thing about these uh, blocks is you can uh, you can miss the center of them, so it's um, oh yeah. <laughs> but I'm gonna let you do what you do. Uh, that way, um, I'm just adding the wheels in the front. Look at how small those big wheels are on this thing. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know they are supposed to be very small compared to the rest of the bike. You know the big, uh, you know big motorbikes and stuff. Um. Should we use that piece right here in the front where it's flat on the top? Do we need to put anything on top of that? Or do you think a round piece would be better in that corner? Um, You mean on the very top here? Yeah, because we have like a round piece like this that we can put down. Um, You could do that. Yeah, you, you could. Oh, I didn't mean to take your wheel off. But uh, you can do that. I mean, if I'm going to move that, that other piece, it's going to happen anyways. Yeah. Uh, do you have it set up with a bearing to turn also? Uh, I did have a bearing on that. Uh, okay. That one underneath. I'd put a bearing right there at the at the top. At the very top? Uh, well, on that bendy one. Yeah. On this one? Mm-hmm. Okay. And then I'll put another one there. And one more down here. Let me turn it so it goes to both sides. Nope. Not like that. There we go. And then put a bearing on each one of those. Yep. Okay. So... I really do, guys, uh, you know, we, we talk about some of the stuff we wish they had in the game. Cut and paste is one of them to be able to, uh, you know, take things from one game and to put in another game or to be able to undo stuff. One of the other things we were thinking about having is the resize. Just having a ability to resize objects that are already in the game so that you can make changes to them. Because some of these red pipes would be kind of cool to incorporate as just color on some of the other models out there, but they're so freaking huge. Yeah. Or if you want to make the tires even bigger than they are for some of these bigger pipes, that would be kind of cool to have as well. So maybe they will add that into the game at some point, but not just yet. I'm now, trying to figure out how you're going to get a motor on this thing. Well, at the very top where you have the, the seat, what we can do is put a small platform that kind of uh, goes around it before you put the seat down. So that okay. would give you a little bit of extra space in there. And in the bi the back, I was thinking maybe of doing a trike, guys, instead of just a motorbike, have the, uh, yeah, have the, uh, you know, thing have two wheels in the back. So it would actually have, you know, four wheels in the back because this one already has two in the front. So to keep that same design going. But uh, won't it have to go down straight first and then go off to the side? Um, well, I mean, you can go with something like this. On both sides, and then um, that way you have the wheels coming off of those. It'll have to go down straight, and then it'll have to go over um, if you do it that way. So, yep, like that, and then you curve it. But I was looking at something. 
Uh, don't put one on there yet. Let me let me just check something out real quick to see how many of these suspension blocks you can put underneath one of these things. <laughs> right. I don't know. This this looks more like a tractor than the the trike with that design. <laughs> four four suspension on on each one of those things would be pretty crazy. We could try it. Yeah, definitely put uh, four in there and, and give it a shot. It does <laughs> definitely look like a tractor, though, is all, is all I'm saying on this one. Oh, yeah, it's going to be very hard. I mean, you can... What you could do is you could change up where that uh, curve is on the front. You could put uh, bearings on both sides of those and have the wheel kick outward. You can have... Um, let me take that off. You could put uh, bearings on the back of this back one here and have it extend outward as well. Yeah, we could try that. I mean, I'll go with your design because, like I said, you've already built a bike over there, so... Um, let me go or ahead. a tractor, you know, if we end up making a tractor, that's, you know, a design as well. Maybe not exactly what we set off to make, but uh, still something we haven't made in the past, so. So do that there. Do that there. Yeah. Yep. And then put four suspension on the bottom of each one of these. <laughs> now, are you going with the big ones, the sports ones, or are you going with the other ones? Oh, the big ones. I mean, you had this massive... Actually, you can go with five. <laughs> five per. Which is Jeez. absolutely crazy. It's going to be a squeaker, guys. It's going to be a squeaker. Yep, the squeaker number two. And we could do uh, the same thing with the front. So I'm just trying to figure out how you can get this to attach. So, actually, you have to do this first, I think. And attach there and then put the other suspension in oh because it wouldn't attach otherwise yep now you get the the front piece to come down like you do on yours so it kind of uh flows a little closer to the ground how exactly do you go about doing that uh you would have to do the same thing as you're doing in the back there um yeah as you, if you look over here, uh, I have two things that come down, and they come back to a center wheel. So, the thing with yours, though, is you want to be able to turn those wheels. Um, trying to think. <laughs> I mean, you could technically have more than one of these up there at a time. Yeah. And then connect uh, shorter pipes, you know, just to... Uh, yeah. Because as long, as long as the base is the big red pipes, I think we have the, the design down. And then just have the two, the two uh, you know, shock absorbers come down, go on straight. Or different color pipes actually might work as well. Yeah, Let's you could do that. Um, could do it that way. Uh, but the turning isn't going to be as good as uh, if you had the wheels going straight down or in an angle like 45 degrees. Right, and that's what I'm saying. Like, how would you, how would you get that 45 degree angle? Um, well, let's do this. Let's go ahead and take those off. Take those off. <laughs> And then put this on. And then um, we go ahead and put a bearing on each side in the center. Okay. Okay. Then go ahead and put a rounded block facing downward. Okay. Let me get that on there. Did you want suspension on the front also? Uh, Yeah. Yeah. But I mean, is there no way to just have it come down as one pipe instead of uh, two? Because two is what we have on the back. I'd, I'd prefer to just have one pipe well, on the front. We can do that. Um, so what you do then is you come back inward. Okay, let me turn that. Okay, yeah, that looks a little bit better. And it comes down into one giant massive uh, set of wheels. And then you come back to down. Let's see, I'm trying to find the right one. This one right here. 
That one? That one, yes. Then you put a bearing on the bottom of that. You don't need to put a bearing on uh, the center or inside that one? Uh, you want to put a... Oh, Cause do, it, if do you, we if not you put, put a, a bearing in there? No, nah, because if you put bearings in there, you could actually have it rotate. Yeah. Um, well, no, no. See, the top is going to rotate, though. No, I see that. But what I'm saying is you put the bearing in here, and then you put that on there. You could have it where it lines up naturally at a 45-degree angle or something, so it's pointing straight out. You see what I'm saying? Yeah, but that's what the top is going to do is go 45 degrees out. Oh, okay. Yeah, and then what you'll have is uh, by having that uh, straight, you'll put another turny thing on the bottom of that, another bearing, like that. Okay. And then you'll put down your um, whatever you want your wheels to connect to. Uh, it would be one of the three pieces though, right? Uh, yeah, if you want to do it that way. Uh, not quite that. I mean, it would have to be because you need those those two wheels on either side to be able to support well, this kind of weight. Probably want to go ahead and uh, go with a. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> that. And then lift your uh, lift all the way up. Then put uh, the bearing. Or did we already put the bearing on, right? Or did we? Uh, I think so. Let me look. Yep, there's yeah. a bearing there. Okay. Well, yeah, then put that, then put down the, the T. And then put your wheels on. And whenever that goes out to 45 degrees, it will it'll look more like... Massive. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, I see what you're saying on that one. <laughs> wow. And then we're going to need handlebars on this sucker, guys. So, yeah, that's going to be a massive, massive bike. I think the, the, uh, the chair is going to have to go a little higher up. Because once we put that on there, it's going to be big. It's going to be really big. Oh, so yeah. maybe not put the the cylinders here to, to turn yet. You need to come down a little bit more, right? Or no, no, no. Once that goes well, out at a 45 degree angle, you'll be good. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So let's put that on there and some wheels. Let's put a bearing in the center and then another wheel right there, guys. Holy crap, guys. This is going to be massive. Yeah. Okay, so um, so what you're gonna need to do is for the control box, I went ahead and put two of those. Um, wow, how are we even gonna get up, get up there? Uh, you can jump. Oh, I, I can I can lower it even more down to the ground. Okay, so let's get rid of this chair real quick, and we need to create uh, a platform of some sort. Yeah, and it needs to go up a little higher too because we need to be able to build the handlebars that actually come out of the uh, the vehicle up there so let's see what would be a good material to make it out of let's go with blue because we haven't done anything with blue like these blue blocks right here okay I'll go ahead and let you do that uh, if you uh, whenever you have enough down I'll go ahead and start working on the control boxes if you want oh yeah go for it man let's see get a few in there there you go that should be enough for you to play with and, you know, in fact, if you're going to put the control box, you can kind of hide it underneath as well, so. So do you want it, like, right here? Yeah, go for it. Right underneath the chair. Okay. Let's see. I put that there. So are you going to have the, are you going to have the, um, the big handlebars on a bearing so it <laughs> will turn whenever the wheels turn? Yeah. Yeah, that's what I was hoping to do. <laughs> nice. Okay. That yeah, way well, you get the whole monster feel of the, the bike being way too big, but still feeling like you're actually, you know, driving it around. Yep. Let's see. Get some a little more in there. This is going to give us places for the, uh, for the uh, engines to go because we're going to need a couple of those on there. I don't want to go too far back, though, actually. So let's stop it right there. And I guess we'll finish it off. I know the blue doesn't really go. I wish there was a way to kind of change the color around, make it red as well, because a nice red platform would would actually look pretty cool. Let's see, is there anything that could stick on the outside? Maybe silver? We've used that quite a bit, though. That's why I don't really like going with that one too much. Yeah. Um, maybe these pipes. Yeah, these pipes could be kind of cool. I haven't really used those too much. So let me change the direction. 
and see what that looks like. Nah, I want to do those up. Yeah. I'll go all the way around the side like that. All right, so those are going up. Just go up. All right. <laughs> you want to uh, lift it up real quick and um, uh, all the way to the top and then take it off the lift real quick just to see if it does what I, I told it to do and see if that's a good percentage. Mm, I think once we put the handlebars on there, it's going to add some more weight to the top, so maybe... But as it stands right now, I'd like to go down a little bit more. But on the front, yeah. Do you want? But the, I think uh, the back. I have it at thirty degrees. The front. I have it at forty-five degrees. Yeah, I would say leave it right there for now, and we'll see once we add the rest of the weight there if it goes down anymore. Oh boy, this is gonna be crazy! All right. Um, I like it though. I like the way it looks. I'll go to sixty. Let's see one right there. Yeah, that's gonna be good. Oh, in the back as well. No, I left the back to where it was. I think the back uh, doesn't need to be too far because that's gonna uh, hinder your turning. I think. Let's put these here. Actually, the, the back should probably just stay straight. See how that looks. Hmm, that didn't line up right. Let me see, what did I miss right there? Oh, okay, so I made it uneven on one side with the blue. Let me fix that. There we go. Alright, so that's supposed to be 90 degrees. For some reason, that's not. One of the wheels is off for some reason. Oh, on the front? Yeah. Nice yeah, thing is that. is you can actually get up on the vehicle from the front. Uh, from the front. Let's see. That's three and four back there, right? Three and four. They are exactly the same. There we go. Uh, three in the center. It's not going to fit that one, but it will fit the blue. No, it still won't fit the blue. Hmm. Let me see what might fit that. Uh, it's just yellow and blue. Those are the only ones we have to kind of work with on that one. Yeah. Huh. I guess we could settle with that. And I guess we will use one of these white pieces because I want it to be nice and even in there. Uh, we'll change the tires because I don't think we need any more of those. Oh, not that. Oh, no. That's uh, all right. It's all right. I destroyed it. Sorry, guys. Did I was you? trying to get rid of it. Yeah, I was trying to get rid of the stupid piece right here. And uh, it went ahead and got rid of the, uh, the bearing in the center. Dang it. All right. Well, uh, chalk it up on a lift. There you go. Okay, let me get rid of this tire. Yep, I'm getting rid of these. <laughs> oh, man. What? Uh, sorry about that. What's that one? What was that piece? That was one of the tires. Oh, okay. Okay, so let's put this back on there. Was it that way, or no, was it no, one of the circles? Is uh the sideways. Oh, what? what? How'd that what get off of there? What in the world? I don't know. It's still on the lift, but uh, it didn't like what I did. There we go. Okay, let's turn that. Here we go. No, that's not it. That's not it? No. Nope. Why oh, is again. that doing that? Um, here, let me... I got it. Bearings on either side, right? Uh, no, I don't think so. I think uh, we'll leave those off and just see how that looks. And then I'll go ahead and do the suspension again. <laughs> so note to self be very very careful when it comes to that back wheel 
again, really, really wish there was an undo button, guys. That would really help out when building something like this, especially when you're building pieces, taking them away, trying to move things around, and you hit that wrong piece. It really kind of uh, just undermines everything you were doing. Why in and the world does it keep coming off of there? Because it's not, uh, it's not, you know, flat yet. <laughs> All right, one second, one second. Just don't put it back on the left yet. All right, you can put it back on the left now. There you go. Let me lower it for you. Oh no, I actually need it higher. If you if you don't if you don't need it higher or. I don't know. No, not yet. Not until I get back up there and start messing around with more stuff. All right. I'm almost done. Got a bearing and wheels uh, on your bar. I got bearings. Let me put the wheels back on real quick. There you go. Yeah, I'll do the one over here. Nice. Okay, so this is starting to come together, guys. Can you do that or you need more space? No, no I'm good. And you're going to put the rest of those little shocks on there? Yep. They're more for aesthetics than anything else because they're not being, um, they're only being used by the center uh, post, it looks like. But Still, does, I mean. It looks cool. It looks. It does. <laughs> it has a different look than uh, the normal vehicles do. There we go. I'm good. I just so we can get back up on top. Yep. Okay, if I can get actually up there. Uh, getting a little bit of lag. There we go. Okay, so handlebars. What are we gonna use for the handlebars? Big, uh, big red ones. Uh, you could go with. Um, let's see. Hmm. <laughs> you could go with big red ones. I probably put a bearing on that blue block. Uh, block there. Oh, it's freaking out. <laughs> it's <laughs> there we go. Jeez, yeah, I don't know. Uh, it, it's not liking the fact this thing is so massive, but... I think care. it's We're not liking the fact that it doesn't have a, an actual surface to connect to. Is what I think it's having a problem with. So, what do you put a bearing right here. And then your... Which one's a straight piece? And then that. And then do your your uh, handlebars off of that. Handlebars. Uh, we actually put a bearing in there. I did. Before you put the... No, no, no. I mean on the side right here. And that way you can make these round pieces coming out come in at a uh, an angle. What do you mean? So you can have those go straight up at an angle, like a 45 degree angle. Oh, okay. Let me turn that so it's the same way. Yeah, because if you can have that go at a 45 degree angle, I can have these straight pieces come out. And I, then, uh, then we can is, curve it. Is your, um, where are you going to put your seat? Because that's going to cover your seat area. It is right now, but if you can turn that to a 45 degree angle up there, then that's going to go straight up into the air. Uh, the, well, you'd probably want to have it going straight up first and then move it to a 45 degree angle because... Um, well, we'll see. Cause you can't, you can't move them without, with it being on the, on the thing. Right. Right. But I'm just saying like, once you, once you get that set up, I'll take it off of the, oh my goodness. It's doing the crazy <laughs> dance again. That was my fault. I was uh, putting, I was deleting a block so that I could put in another uh, control panel for your handlebars. Oh, okay. <laughs> Let's see if we can both get up there. All right, it's gonna, it's gonna freak out again. Go ahead and uh, get ready to put a thing on it. I got it. There we go. Oh, man. I cannot believe we're making a bike this big. Who's going to ride this? Like, Andre the Giant? I mean, this is nuts. Yep. All right. There's that control panel. 
I'm gonna have to build up the seats so it doesn't look so weird. I really wish there was like a leather material in the game, guys. Right now, it's pretty much all standard metal. You got some wood blocks and things of that sort, but nothing soft. I mean, he was even looking for like saddlebags on his that we could put in there, and it just doesn't have that material yet. But I bet you more than anything, they're gonna add more stuff to it as time goes on. So we just kind of have to be a little patient and deal with what we got for the moment. Then down the road, we can change some of these designs up. And if you guys, if you're watching and this game has been out for a little while, you come to the videos a little late, uh, you're more than welcome to kind of change up what we have here for what you might have here in the future. Did you do it? Yep. Okay, uh, so go if you want to, you can lift it up, take it off the lift, and just see what it does. Just to make sure. I'm. I like to. That's 45 degrees. That <laughs> this looks so big. <laughs> <laughs> it actually looks right now, guys. I don't know why, but it kind of looks a little bit like a kid's uh, bicycle, you, like a red red rocket. You know what? It, what it looks like to me? It looks like a um, a balloon animal. Uh, that <laughs> looks. Like... <laughs> I, I would have the 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 bars go up a little bit more, just slightly by like five degrees. <laughs> okay, five more degrees. I can do that. Yeah, because you. with them being so far back, it seems more for like a little kid. If you ever watch uh, some of those those uh, building shows like American Chopper, the handlebars are always a lot further out, so they got to reach out and keep their arms almost straight. So, Like that? Yeah, I, I guess. I mean, it could go out even further than that. It just seems like those bars are way too thick. I wish there was like a happy medium between those and these other ones, but they're not. Like, I'll show you the sizes, guys. You can put down these uh, these blue ones. That's the size right there versus the red ones. There's no happy medium in between that. And that's kind of my what you would want right there. Oh, that just looks so weird. No, I, I would go back. Yeah, I would go back. That just seems too far out. <laughs> All right. Yeah, almost to what you had. I'd rather go with the red rocket than, than something uh, that resembles. I don't know what that would resemble, guys. How's that? Mmm... I guess you know what it is is probably that the body's not long enough. Yeah, the body is definitely not long enough, I think. We could we could extend that back maybe another And those sus that suspension is completely compressed, so we'll probably take that out and put um put just straight up uh pipes there. Oh, you're right. Look at that, guys. Holy crap. There's just a <laughs> lot of weight on that. Yep. Uh, they completely I'm go ahead went and inside. it now because it's going to cause problems anyway um, because it's going to keep coming off the lift. See? It's going <laughs> to... Oh, okay. It's just playing playing havoc. Oh, oh, oh. Let, it, let it tip over. There it goes. There okay, goes. so what we're going to do is get rid of that and that and even that and we're going to go back further. Yeah. Let me put it on the lift because I can't put anything down on that right now. Okay. How far back do you think? One or two pipes? Maybe even three. Um, that would make me want to think that this front one needs to be uh, longer as well. No, I think the I think those uh, bars are fine. It's just that the seat wasn't far enough back. No, I mean uh, not the not the handlebars. I mean the actual front wheel feels like it needed to be longer as well. Mm, maybe you know another thing we're missing actually too is the bar that comes down at an angle and then goes straight across on the bottom is there any way we could incorporate that in there oh boy like right there where it breaks we need another bar that goes down let me put that back on right here so right there we need it to go down at an angle kind of like it does in the front mm-hmm and then go straight as well on the top. So we need a piece that... How would we do that? Straight down. We need something like that. Ah, oh, crap. <laughs> <laughs> this thing, man. What is wrong with it? Stay where I put you. Okay, so let's see if I can get this face the right way. 
Is that it? Yeah, okay, so we need that, and then right here on the bottom, we need it to be able to turn. Turn which way? Uh, at an angle, like a 45 degree angle, kind of like we, we do over there. Um... And for the top to keep going straight. So you'd need something like that. And then you'd need, uh, I'm guessing, your wanting bars that go. <laughs> yes. Oh, man. Okay, let's see if we can get that on there just right. There we go. Let me move that. Let me put it down flat again. I think this is going to be one of the biggest creations we've ever made, guys. Yeah, I, I think it's going to take a little bit longer than we were expecting. So, you wanted to go down and which way? At a 45 degree angle. Yeah. Kind of like the wheels in the front. So, you wanted to go forward 45 degrees. No, back. I wanted to go back towards the back wheels. You mean where the engines are normally kept? Yeah, exactly. Okay, so, alright. I think I, I know what you're putting down. So, like that right there. Change it over here yep. on this side. Uh, okay. You, hey, it didn't come off that time. And it would have to go. But maybe too much. That might be oh, too much, yeah, because you only I wanted was to. Say, uh, because how are you going to go forty-five degrees with that? And then we need it to turn, going up. I guess is the direction it's going to be facing. Yeah. Um, actually, you know what, this cro um, this one right here, probably want to put in one of these, and then that's what that's what I did put in, and then put in one of these. And that way you can put your engine there. <laughs> Actually, you can, oh, put, okay, yeah. you can put two engines there, probably. Or, like, 40 of them, actually, because yeah. there's going to be a lot of space down there. Okay, so if you want to turn that at a 45-degree angle so we can see exactly how that's going to look. Okay, um, lower the thing down. Oh, I put this on wrong. Or do you want to put the back wheels on first? Um, to give it something to actually stand on. Yeah, let's go ahead and put the back wheels on. I think we need to actually make them as long as the front is. So that, uh, because whenever it goes into 45 degree angle, it's gonna, it's still gonna be, it's, uh, this thing's huge, man. <laughs> well, you know, this, we wanted to go bigger and better, so. Yeah, yeah. Alright, so from here, I guess, we're gonna go ahead and put the wheels on. And then I'd say go out a pipe. Like that, before you actually turn it down. Ah, oh, jeez. What? I uh, just got rid of the front wheel. <laughs> oh, man. That's all right. You can... I'm trying, to, trying to put a freaking light on there and... Uh, can't believe I did that. Okay, well, let's fix the back wheel first, and then we'll come back to the front wheel. All right. It's uh, one step forward, guys, two step back with this thing. And, and I, I think what we're going to do, guys, is uh, should we end it here, fix what we've done, and then come back for the next episode and sure. show them? I think that that's, that'd work. All right, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Again, please check out AC Gamer's channel. Um, he has all kinds of games that he is bringing out, some that are going to be coming out new very soon. So always check him out. And, uh, I appreciate it, man. No problem. And thank you guys for watching. This is Cypher Deck. I'm AC Gamer. Peace out.